Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly love reading. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to be starting as usual with the uh, Angel Answer Oracle cards. So at the end of the reading, if you have a question, this will answer it. Sometimes it even answers a question or becomes a part of the reading. So, whoa. Well, one card flipped over. We're going to let the rest hit the floor wherever they went. Uh, yeah, only one came. That's good. We don't look at it. Now, we're getting a Romance Angel Oracle card for you, Pisces. By the way, thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate all the likes and the subscribes. It's been awesome and uh, very appreciative. So, for Pisces. Whoops. Card for Pisces in three, two, one. Okay. Pisces. Let control, I'm sorry, let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So are you involved in a situation that you feel the need to make things happen or do things to make people or the, a specific person respond in a specific way? That's what this is talking about. You know, controlling things, do manipulation. So that's the way of putting it which none of us want to ever admit to, but I think that we all do certain things knowing that a person is more likely to respond in a specific way to whatever we do. I don't know that we do it intentionally. I think sometimes, Pisces, we, well, we know what we want, and we know that if the person cares, they are more likely to act a specific way. Of course, the problem is when they don't act the way we think they should, that's when things go horribly wrong, right? Or at least it's upsetting. Okay, Pisces. Got a bunch of cards there. Not too many, though. We can deal with this. Okay. okay so maybe more than I thought. <laughs> okay. So I always keep the cards in the order that they come out. So we're dealing about control issues. Your first card that came out, Pisces, is... The Knight of Cups. Could be you, because it's a water sign. And this, I, you know, you got to notice here, the Knight of Cups, he is on a, a an emotional or a love journey. He does have a cup of emotion, and the horse's foot is in the water. But he seems to be holding the other one up. It's almost exaggeratedly held up. And his eyes are a little concerned, like, mm, I'm not so sure I really want to do this. Even though the guy looks like he is determined, the horse is not. So what's the expression? The mind is something, but the something isn't. Oh, if you know it, please put it down below. <laughs> you know, the something is willing, but the... Oh, geez. The mind is willing, but the something isn't. I apologize, Pisces. Please write that down if you know what I'm trying to say. But that's what this is to me. Because the horse is hesitating and the man is sitting on him and he wants to. But nothing's happening. Interesting because your next card, Pisces, is the Two of Wands. Now, the Two of Wands traditionally is the man with the earth in his hand, implying that he has the whole world ahead of him. This is making plans, you know. It's, uh, what am I going to do? I have uh, so many options of things I can do. In this one, she's just balanced between two options. It's uh, To me, it's very reminiscent of the Two of Pentacles in many cards. But she's got her umbrella here. She's balanced on one foot and the other one is above. So all, it, to me, it's it's questioning whether you're going to make a move, but not being sure what direction to move in. So... You're not sure where your future with the relationship even go is going. So it's really funny. It says, let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. To me, this is like you don't even know what you want to happen. I, I feel like this is you want to control the situation, but you're not sure what you want to have happen. And I think that could be because we have the nine of wands here also. The nine of wands is... You know, it's not the Ten of Wands where you're almost done carrying the burden. You've carried the burden. You know how to work with the burden. And you are protecting yourself. You you know what 
it's almost like you know what to expect. But I have to say that as much as you might think you know what to expect, you, after this, you got the Judgment card and the Six of Pentacles. Now, when it comes to the Judgment card, this is a change in circumstance, uh, like... Um, I always wanted to think of it as the Justice card, and I know it's not the Justice card, but for me, the Judgment card is... It's the last judgment. Let me see something here. So I'm using my little book because we know I love my little book. And when it talks about the judgment card, this is, um, it's a card of transformation. A fresh start is possible. Time to forgive and forget, or perhaps do some soul searching. Um, so this makes perfectly good sense here because you haven't decided what you want. So this is about a fresh start. And this is good. Could be dealing with a Libra because we have the scales here. But I'm wondering, Pisces, so you wanted to make a move forward with someone, but you weren't actually sure what type of a movement forward you have wanted to make. Possibly because you've been with this person before and there is a certain amount of guardedness you might have. You know, you've you've been to the war and you you've seen what it's like, and now here you are protecting yourself. Um, but then with the judgment card, this is a new start, and I want to say because of the six of pentacles, a new start, and with the scales being here, of finding balance. You Pisces are possibly looking to return and I want to say a reconciliation because of the nine of wands being here this is possibly a reconciliation a fresh start with somebody you've had in the past that things weren't fair weren't even and the six of pentacles here to me is talking about even give and take and both of you you know well whoever wasn't giving I want to say is learning how to give and the one who was always taking maybe would be the one who is learning how to give now. So it's almost like a, a relationship that's growing and changing and evolving. So um, maybe tell us about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Tell us about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Oh boy, I'm about to lose all the cards out of my hand. Tell us about the person Pisces is dealing with. Five. Whoops. Okay. A bunch of cards turn over, but that's too many cards. This deck has very skinny little cards. So that little pile is a lot. <laughs> Let's see. Anything else for Pisces? Okay. So about the person you're dealing with, Queen of Pentacles. Possibly of an earth sign. Someone who enjoys luxury um, and is very generous. So... Earth sign would be your Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. So, okay, Pisces. What was your question? What's your question in this possible reconciliation? Just keep in mind, don't try to control it. Let it happen, because that's probably the only way you're going to find out if this really works. What was your question? Here's your answer reconsider. Interesting. And I say interesting because when I see a reconciliation, reconciliations are very interesting things because if you recon reconcile with someone and neither of you have made any changes, it can't work because you're doomed or destined to, re to continue to make the same mistakes over and over again. So this to me says reconsider. And I would say that, see with the sword, I always think of the sword as cutting things out, ending things. In this, because it says reconsider and the sword is here and it's an air sign quality, which is making me think of Gemini. And right now we're going into, what is it? Gemini retro uh, shadow right now. When Gemini goes um, in reverse and we have a retrograde, the past comes back. And it's either to fix it and move forward or to end it. And I feel like when this, when Gemini is going retrograde, someone from your past will show up and you will reconsider. 
So I have to ask you, if you, if this happens, please let me know if it resonates. I'd love that. And subscribe, of course. But reconsider, make sure that they really have changed. Because otherwise you are going to have the same pattern you had before. And that's never fun. So thank you very much for being here, Pisces. I really appreciate it. Please like. And like I said, if it resonates or you just enjoy it, subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.